Functional Chapter 3 Functional Rehabilitation of Hand The function of the hands is extremely important in daily life. From the moment we get up until we go to bed, we need them to perform countless tasks. For this reason, when a person suffers an injury to the hand or arm, or has a disease that affects their function, it is necessary to carry out a functional rehabilitation of the same. Loss of motor function in one or both hands is a common symptom of neurological diseases like stroke and spinal cord injury, which can significantly lower a person's quality of life. Activities that are frequently taken for granted become difficult or practically impossible as a result of tight and spastic muscles, diminished grasping power, and a general lack of hand coordination. Even though hand exercises must be repeated several times for physical therapy to be beneficial, many patients are unable to receive regular care because it is too expensive or requires too much travel. The functional rehabilitation of the hands has its main objective to improve their function, as well as sensitivity and strength. For this, a series of exercises and specific techniques are used. In many cases, functional hand rehabilitation is performed in conjunction with physical therapy. The duration of the functional rehabilitation of the hands will depend on the severity of the injury or illness. In some cases, rehabilitation can last a few months, while in others, it can take years. If you suffer from a hand or arm injury or from a disease that affects their function, it is important that you go to a specialist so that they can evaluate you and can indicate the most appropriate treatment for you. How this hand glove robot helps in training your hand. One of the primary goals of robot-based hand motor therapy is consistent improved steadiness and hand function, traits often challenging to attain when the muscles have yet to heal. This is especially difficult to maintain as you become more tired toward the end of the therapy session. Robotic devices gently support and guide movements of the hand to increase exercise consistency. It is combined with flexible robot technology and neuroscience. It can help patients master fingers flexion and extension, reduce hand muscle tension, relieve edema and stiffness, promote rehabilitation of brain nerve injury through exercise, improve hand activity and accelerate the rehabilitation of hand function. Hand Glove Robot Robot-assisted therapy is a relatively new intervention, increasingly used in the rehabilitative treatment of the patient. It allows to increase the number of repetitions in performing specific task movements. Robot-assisted hand therapy presents benefits in all phases of rehabilitation that translate into motor and functional improvements of the upper limb and improvements in hemispatial damage. Although there is a great similarity between these mechanisms and the human arm, robotic arms were mainly designed to be programmed in cyclical tasks. The ones that stand out the most are those that use technologies that take advantage of the excellent capacity that human beings have to perceive external information. And also because the human being has the excellent ability to control the movement of their extremities. It was decided to develop an assistant capable of capturing the movements of the human arm and movements of a robotic arm and combined with the ability to perceive view of an operator. Obtain a teleoperation system with excellent features, intuitive and innovative. How to use soft hand glove. Please cards the device ATLEs for 30 minutes if using for the first time. Insert the POW glove plug into the power socket on the side of the machine. Press and hold the power button for 2 seconds. Wait for the glove to fully extend and then put on the glove. Once you put on the glove, pull the whole glove towards the wrist so that the fingertips go as far as possible into the glove. Then tighten on the wrist and fasten the Velcro of lateral strap without creating any discomfort. Passive training? Press on menu button to select passive mode. Select the extension and flexion index. To train for the first time, the recommended extension index is set to 8 and the flexion index set to 3. Press the start button to start training. Bilateral mirror training? To perform the mirror training put the insert the data glove plug into the data pocket and the power glove plug into the power socket on the side of the host. Wear the data glove on your healthy hand and power glove on the affected hand. Select mirror mode and press the start button. During the training the affected hand follows the movement of the healthy hand and does flexion or extension simultaneously. If both hands are unable to do the movements it is recommended to start with passive training. The healthy side drives the affected hand, simultaneous movement of hands, activating mirror neurons, the motor nerve pathway of the normal healthy hand was copied to the affected hand. Hand. ADL training, it also helps you to train your brain to do the activities of daily living like grasping a glass, gripping or squeezing with your affected hand. Just like bilateral mirror training you need to do action like gripping something or grasping a glass with your good hand and the affected hand will follow. You might need to train your affected hand quite some time to perfect a particular movement. However it will come with practice. Chapter 4, Brain Injury and Its Consequences. Acquired brain injury or head injury are